อิงลันวันนี้นะคะเรามีแขกรับเชิญพิเศษมากๆเลยค่ะเป็นดีเจแห่งคลื่นกรีนเวฟเลยวันนี้ขอต้อนรับดีเจพี่ต่อค่ะสวัสดีครับคุณแม่ต้องบอกเลยว่าเราเป็นรุ่นพี่รุ่นน้อง We're the alumni of MUIC now when when did you start learning English I was sent abroad with my sister uh, okay. to to the UK At, at that time, we don't know any English skill. We cannot speak English, and only like seven, nothing at all. Nothing at all, <gasps> and like Thai, only th seven Thai uh, students are there, oh. and it's a boarding school. Uh, you have to survive by learning very fast English. If you cannot speak English, you you, you cannot go play with other kids. You cannot go argue with the teacher. You cannot ask for any food. So you have to be able to. Pick up very fast and mm -hmm. survive. Do yeah. you remember like what are the things that you had to do to try to like pick up the language really quickly? Oh man, uh, I learned a lot of of English and I learned a lot of of different culture at that mm -hmm. moment of life. For example, when I was young, I liked to eat toast yeah. with butter and okay. sugar on the top. All right, it's it's mm -hmm. the normal Thai style that we do every oh, day. Oh my lord! Yeah, <laughs> something top, like that. Or like chocolate powder. And I do the same thing, at, which I. Was in Thailand. I put the butter on the toast, and then the sugar, and then the laugh sound explode from the from the ca cafeteria. They think that it's it's funny to do that because they don't eat sugar with butter. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 And, and so they're like, "What are you doing? What are you eating?" Yeah, they're laughing at me. I was like, "What? What am I doing wrong?" Because. Mm. I, <laughs> I, I eat this when I was in Thailand, back at home, and it, it's yeah, good. You want to try? You want to try? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. yeah so you were like, like a little bit embarrassed, would you say? It, uh, uh, or like, oh, confused? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, why are you it's, laughing? Yeah, why are you laughing? <laughs> and uh, I, I didn't take any action because I, I was a kid at that I time. So, so I learned that mm -hmm. that if if we were abroad and we have to survive ourselves, it's also learning the culture. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. Now, talking about your English skills already, and of course you have been through a lot of things. But what we know for sure, because you did so many things, okay, even until now. So you okay. are super <laughs> multi-talented. We should say that. What do you like the most about being a like being a DJ? The DJ is like when 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 you play the music to to the listener, it's like you 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 want to pass some energy to the mm -hmm. listener, like for sure. When I play. Playlist of the song like this, mm -hmm. it feels like hey, uh, the listener are touching this tone and this mood of oh. the music of the of the playlist, mm -hmm. and then I can feel it uh, from the message that they sent back oh. to me. And, hey, yeah, okay, it's meaningful. Right? Yeah, it's meaningful. I'm so happy. It's like you get to curate whatever the content they yeah, 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 the yeah, things yeah, they yeah. get to hear. Yeah? Yes, yes, oh, yes, I yes. See, yeah. I see. Someone mm -hmm. just. Got heartbroken and then they listen to the music. Mm. They cry a lot. Mm. I think it's good because you know sometimes human life is like you have to cry, mm. you have to laugh, you have to mm. be happy, you have to be sad because it's just the nature of the human being. So when you when you are sad, you just cry. Mm. You should cry. <laughs> <laughs> so like when when the music makes you cry, it's mm. it's like maybe it's bad to say that. Hey, I want my aim. You know, like oh, okay, okay. Because you convey the emotion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something like that. Nong nong, ตอนนี้อาจจะยังไม่เก็ตเพราะว่าเดี๋ยวนี้เลือกเลือกได้เลยว่าจะฟังอะไร But in the, during like of course my time when I was listening to a radio and enjoying the like the the show, right? And I was like always thought to myself, คุณรู้ได้ไงอ่ะว่าต้องเปิดเพลงนี้อยากฟังเพลงนี้แล้วก็เรียงแบบ oh, so that's like the art of DJ. Yeah, the art of like. The charming oh, thing of the I DJ. See, yeah. <laughs> Now we probably have to talk about you as a in in terms of like the motorcycle. The motorcycle. Okay. In, become the influencer okay. in, in terms of like motorcycle. <laughs> I have to like tell the story back then when I was in MUIC. When mm -hmm. I was uh, the second year in mm -hmm. MUIC, I wish that I would have one bike to drive from my dormitory to to GMM Grammy to work. Oh. I don't know why at that time of my life I really want to have one bike for 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 working. Why not a car? 
I have a car at that moment. Oh, so you're like... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, mm, I didn't get a chance to, to have any bike when I was in Salaya. Yeah. So I graduated. Okay. I moved to stay in town. So, okay. so, so it's close to Grammy where I work. Okay. Then. I got a bike. I think while riding a motorbike, it, it feels free, you know? It feels so free, you know? No one can touch me, no one can... <laughs> I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go way too far, far away from here, something like that. Okay. And it's... Uh, using a big bike on the Thai, Thai roads are uh, a bit dangerous, as, as we know. So I become to ride the bike in the track, start learning the, uh, the ability to ride a bike mm. properly with uh, the real teacher in mm. the track. And I found that riding in a track is a lot safer. And since then, I started to ride a track bike and not anymore on the road bike. Nowadays, skateboard, surf skate are, are very popular. It is. I'm seeing a lot of my friends, they got an accident from the skateboard. You know, the skateboard is like one of the extreme sports that you have, you're gonna have a skill to play that. For sure, for sure. And I heard it from my friends that they got broken legs, broken arms. Wow. And I'm, I'm saying this because I'm riding the motorbike in a track too. Mm -hmm. And I'm paying the price for the prote uh, protection in my body mm -hmm. and I think it's the last thing that when you got an accident that hey your your arms your legs gonna hit the road mm -hmm. uh, hit on the roads but if you have a good protection mm -hmm. it will help you a lot so you need to have like safety precautions yes, like wear yes. those like yes protection. leather suit yeah, yeah. I see I it's see. more than like 10 kilos on my body oh yeah. and but, it must but, be hot or? yes a lot of like a lot of heat generating oh. inside the leather suit but it's the only way to there become is safest to ride on the track. Mm -hmm. So yeah. It's okay to engage in this like motorcycles or like safe or extreme sports, but you need to protect yourself. Yes, yes, yes. That's my point. <laughs> I yes, see, yeah. I see. And then you have to respond for yourself and others for while sure. you're riding. For sure, for sure. So we can say that you have tried so many different things. So you're passionate about many things and, and you put a lot of effort into it, into learning and developing your ability to do that. Yes. So let's say for giving advice to okay. Nong Nong, listening okay. to this right now, who are searching for you know okay. their purpose and passion, what would be your advice to them? Since I was a kid, I, I don't know what I want to become when I grow up. Mm -hmm. I don't know what makes me happy. I don't know what I like. Oh. I saw my friends doing skateboard. Mm -hmm. It's too dangerous for me. Right? <laughs> okay. I saw my friends skipping the classes to go in an in internet cafe to play games. Mm. I don't like it, man. Mm. Not my way. So when I grow up, I become to know that me, myself, no, no middle thing. I, I'd rather go black or white. Mm. If I like it, I go extremely. Mm. until the end. But if I hate it, mm. I'll, I'll sit back and I'll do nothing about it. Mm. So, um, find things that you like mm -hmm. and happy about mm -hmm. and try to find what's chiming in it. Mm -hmm. What's challenging you from, from doing it? And, and please keep doing it. If you stop in the middle of the process, since 1 to 10 is all gone. But if you keep going Forward. Forward into the difficult part of that road. You will find a lot of things that you, you never feel before. Mm. Yeah. When I ride a motorcycle in, in, in the track, I got a lot of accidents, a lot of crashes on a on, on, on track while I was practicing. But mm. one day, when, you, when you're not crashing anymore, mm. when, you, when you know that your skills are good now, mm. you will feel that, hey, all the time that I have practices, Mm -hmm. all the skills that I need, mm -hmm. it's worth it for you. For sure. It's yeah. all paid off. It's all paid off. Yeah. <laughs> Just like when you learn English, if you want to get English skills like people, please keep learning all the way in, find whatever you like about English as well. But today we still have some time with people. Episode Three, two, one. Go, go, go. Uh, thriller, the, the... Michael Jackson. Yes. Uh, let it go, let it go. Anna and... Uh. <laughs> <laughs>